Well, hello. Uh, my name is Arnau. I work for Bitfire, which may not sound uh, much familiar, but I hope most of you have heard about DABX5. Uh, this is not about DABX5, but it's really closely related, and it's a problem we are trying to solve that involves DABX5, which is uh, called push, called the push. Okay, uh, it's ready for test right now, so you can all try, and we'll see how every one of you can try it if you use Nextcloud. Well, uh, first of all, what's with the push? Uh, maybe you've heard before called the push. Now web the push. The official name is web the push. Okay, but we don't want anybody to think that it's only for files. It's for everything related to to DAF. This is contacts, calendars, tasks, files, whatever. And the big issue is that this is in fact an uh, industry standard. Uh, every proprietary solution has it. But there isn't any open protocol on, or anything more open and widely available that implements it. And the biggest thing we are trying to solve is that uh, I know that most of you have had this problem that you add a calendar event on your desktop and then it takes like 15, 30 minutes to update on your phone. It's a shit. It's very bothering and it's not good. So we want to solve this. How are we going to solve this? Well, we split uh, the project in three steps. First of all, we don't want to make something that is only for Nextcloud or only for DAVX5. We want to do something that is for everything. So we want to create a protocol and a standard that in the future uh, hopefully will get included into CalDAV, CARDAV, WebDAV. Okay, and for this, uh, we have to define, first of all, how the process works. How is this implemented, okay? So this includes like how do you subscribe to collections, how the server uh, updates the devices, and everything that goes behind. And not only this, but also uh, how this information is transported. Is it using Google services? Is it using web push? What are we using? And we want to be as broad as possible, so uh, include as many services as possible. And then we propose two implementations. One, first of all, for servers, which is obviously Nextcloud, and also a client-side implementation, which in our case, of course, is DAVX5. But again, any server can use it, any client can use it. If they implement it, they can use it. Uh, yeah, again, right now we only support unified push for mobile, but web push is technically also supported. But if somebody develops uh, a new transport method, it can also be used. That's the big thing. Any transport method can be used as long as it's implemented. Then, the most interesting thing for today, how can you try it out? It's very easy. First of all, you can access directly the Nextcloud App Store. OK, you search for DAF Push, and it's there. Just install, and that's all you have to do. Then you have to access your client, in this case, DAVX5. First of all, make sure that you are using at least version 442, OK? Then the only thing you have to do is refresh the collections list so that DAVX5 knows that you have installed this application on Nextcloud. Uh, and then go to the settings in DAVX5 and select your unified push distributor. Um, in this case, if you don't know about uh, this, you can just search for unified push, and it's everything well explained there but it will be most likely already been selected automatically. And that's all. It's really easy. Okay. <laughs> you can, uh, it will be working right now, and it will work out. Uh, if you need any more information, we are upstairs, so you can just ask. Or in this repository, it's the code. You can take a picture, access it, or whatever. If you have suggestions, book reports, you can report them. And also, it's in alpha state, so expect bugs, report them, solve them. We are open for contributions, so thank you very much.